Hi guys, my name is Remy Sylvester. Um, making this video, it's a tutorial video on how to paint. Okay, so you can see here we're starting a pencil sketch of the Pope. Just a light sketch with pencil. Um, just to give the dimensions and the shape. And then next we're going to start painting. Okay, so this is the piece here that we're working on. some of the techniques that I use for a uh, brush and brush only paintings. Okay, so we're about three hours into this painting right now. This is a painting of Pope Francis. I just want to remind people when you're uh, doing a painting of a portrait of someone, especially someone famous or something, you know, you want to kind of not copy other people's photos because uh, photographers are artists too so you got to respect that what I always do is if I'm gonna paint a picture of someone um, I'll use references and multiple references of maybe their face and uh, I'll make my own background my own clothing my own objects in the piece that way you're not even close to someone else's work so to speak We've started to put some details in the face, a little bit of details in the hat, as well as the staff. You know, how we put a little bit more in the cross. So we're going to let this dry overnight, and then we're going to come back and put in all the final details. Remember, it's important that you use good brushes and uh, good quality pigments when you're painting as well. You want to get the, pot, the full possible effect. Okay, so we're going to put in the final details here. I'm just going to start on the ear a little bit. Just clean up this a little. Okay, we're going to start on the final details.
Now that we're pretty much done the painting, we're going to start on the framing process. Um, we've got about, I'd say about 45 hours into this painting so far. Um, I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'm going to come back to it and make sure all the shades that I put in are still there and if everything's good then I'm going to start framing. Okay, so now we're at the framing part. I'm going to start with cutting four sides and uh, we're going to use a miter saw and uh, we're going to cut basic 45 degree angles on all pieces and then we'll fit it together. Okay, so now we're done cutting our wood. We're gonna move on to the sanding. Just remember you only need to sand two sides because only two sides are going to be showing. I've got a nice little little sand on this part here so the next thing we'll be doing is fitting the frame together. Okay so we've got all our four pieces sanded and we're going to do a little bit of in that. Okay so now we've cut some of the pieces out for the corner of the frame and we sanded them and we just kind of like pounded some patterns in them and now we're going to go spray them okay so make sure when you're uh, building your corners of your frame always use a clamp tighten it really good and then construct your first corner and here's the finished product It took about, uh, I'd say about 70 hours in total. Well, that's it for my bit. I made this video to show young people uh, tips and techniques that they can use to make their own piece of art. I think anybody can paint, but I think it's just a matter of time and practice. So if you uh, watch my videos, you can learn the things that you need to do to be a successful artist. I'm from Ontario, Canada. I hope you enjoy my video.